goes on and on. And then we, we go all the way back to my favorite, which is the PA announcer is announcing or narrating Baker's every move in the morning. And I think we have just a bit of a clip of that one, if we could remind everybody how that came off. And with a burst of speed, Baker heads up the stairs like a man on a mission. Baker, coming in hot, look at a little gas from the stairs. It's like 7 a.m., maybe pump the brakes a little bit. Baker stands in the doorway, seems a little annoyed. <laughs> okay. They're clever. And Baker is good at playing that guy. Yes. I, I don't really love that guy because he's a little smug. He's a little condescending. He's, he's actually a little kind of smarmy. Right. And it comes across that this is a championship quarterback who actually lives in the stadium that he owns and operates right. on Sundays, mm -hmm. right? Yes. It's a terrible look for a quarterback who is proven next to nothing. Mm -hmm. And when it did go bad, it made him look even worse because y you sit back as a fan and say, how, how are you doing that right. when you're not doing that on the field? Right. And to me, slowly but surely, his selling power started to turn negative last year. Obviously, I believe he was hurt. You think he just it was just getting exposed, but but you did admit that he shouldn't have been playing yeah, last yeah. year. But he tore his labor, <clears throat> and fractured his shoulder, and he sucked it up. And he said, "I'm just going to gut it out for this team the rest of the way." So he played effectively 15 and a half games with a torn labrum, and. He probably shouldn't have played at all, but he did, and I don't think he did him did did him any good. Put a lot of bad tape out there, but all of a sudden, more bad tape was more progressive commercials right. because it was going from bad to worse. And all of a sudden, his selling power to me was starting to, to trend negative because you were all over him. I think a lot of people are all over him because. <laughs> In the end, you, you want to not like this guy for all the things that he did at Oklahoma off the field. I kept saying, well, all that contributes into the Baker package that works on the field. Right. It's that spirit. It's that pepper pot thing. It's that chip on shoulder. It, it's all the Baker package. It, it's why John Dorsey said, I want that kid. It's right. why Charlie Weiss sat here and said, after the Georgia loss in the semifinal right. game, he said, I'll take that kid number one because I can't coach or teach what, what's inside him. He just liked his passion. He right. just liked his spirit, yeah. his intensity, his energy, right. all those, those intangibles. But I think we both agree, Skip, this is a Cleveland-based company. They wanted the face of the company, you know, as far as endorsement, um, to be a Cleveland. Now, obviously, it's Flo, but then they wanted Baker. He was the quarterback. He was the big, you know, the biggest. I mean, obviously, he was the biggest star in Cleveland at the time. No, no, LeBron. But LeBron had moved on and things of that nature. Maybe LeBron was out of their budget to, for him to do. I, I would say. To, 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 yeah. do, to do progressive. Mm -hmm. But I just think with Baker being in Cleveland, this being an Ohio-based company, I think it fit. It worked. Who knows? Maybe, I don't know. They probably wouldn't do Joe Burrow, Joe in Cincinnati. I don't know. Maybe is it Cleveland-based or is it just oh, we're just going with Ohio-based? I'm not completely sure, but I'm. I think it's based in Cleveland, yeah. Ohio. Yeah, so it, it makes and sense. So they're probably Browns fans who were captivated right. by Baker Mayfield. Who knows? Maybe Miles Garrett, yeah. Miles Barrett Garrett can pick up this spot, or Denzel Ward, or somebody. Maybe, but I I don't know. Baker was hot for that, especially yeah. off his rookie year. Yeah, and then I, I I give it to him. He did very well with the spots. Yeah, I think you think he was he was just playing himself. Yes, but but unfortunately, but that's why it works. Yeah, but his self is is not all that likable in right. the end to me. Right. He, you can call it sort of likable. It worked in that unlikable. spot, not since it necessarily worked no. <laughs> for him as a quarterback. Okay, so I was ecstatic yesterday because I first guessed this back coming out of that rookie year. No, too early, don't right. do it. And I was ecstatic. I'm pretty sure Progressive pulled the plug. Baker didn't pull the yeah. plug. Progressive just said, no, that's enough. Doesn't make sense for us. It, it doesn't make sense. And even a moving away commercial, you say it could have been cute and clever. I, I think they were ready to cut bait with this whole concept because Baker has turned into a negative figure to me. He, he, there's too much negativity surrounding mm -hmm. him because it's we need an adult. Right. It's, uh, it's Odell I'm clashing sure. with Baker, which, I again, I keep reading stories that they clash. They, they loved each other. I, right. I know for a fact they vacationed together. They clashed on the field only 
because they couldn't click. Right. Right. The connection wasn't yeah, there. There was no connection. And then Odell kept getting hurt. And then Baker got hurt. It, it just went from bad to worse. It was ill fated from the start. So I keep reading that, that they were at each other's throat in the locker room. I don't think that was the case at all. And then Odell's father is trying to defend Odell and he's putting out tape of, well, right. look at that. Look how bad this throw was. Right. And look at how bad this, and then Baker's defenders are saying, well, look at this drop and look at this drop. Right. Okay. So that was the clash, but, but I think they're still friendly, if not good friends. So the point is the target kept getting painted bigger and bigger on Baker's back as he went through some rough patches and people are saying, well, how can you keep bombarding us with these commercials? Right. So I'm ecstatic that Baker can go back to being the walk-on that he was at Texas Tech in Oklahoma when nobody knew who he was. And by the way, speaking of college football, I I haven't even mentioned the Nissan Heisman yeah. House commercials. Yeah. Well, he took those over. Yep. Yeah. And and he if you if you had to rank Heisman winners. Well, because Skip, he was one. He and Kyler Murray was one of the two, one of the few active Heisman winners that was still playing. And then yeah. Derrick Henry was in there too. He most was. of the Skip, most of the guys, you know, no, you have no. Marcus Allen, George White, and all those guys. George Rogers, a little what, Bo. Charlie White, yeah, they, Bo, they, was they, Bo uh, uh, Desmond. But yeah. Skip, those guys are long, long done. Okay. So you only have like three or four guys that are active that that have Heisman Trophy winners. But as far as his Heisman, his college stature goes, yeah. his achievements, yeah. they don't measure up to a lot of other players. There are, there are a whole lot of better college football players. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. all of a sudden, he's the it kid right. on, on Nissan right. Heisman yeah. house, too, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So the, the totality of it, the impact of it, there's no way he could live up to that. Right. And certainly last year, he did not. Right. So I think he is starting over. I think he... Oh, he absolutely he, He's going over. to have to re-earn the salary he gave back, and he's going to have to re-earn national TV commercials. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't make any sense, Skip. He flamed out in Cleveland. So why we have a guy that flamed out in Cleveland, in Carolina, still represents it's, it's a terrible look, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it would be. Yeah. It would be. Okay. Chris Paul can move all over and still do State Farm. He was doing State Farm in, in the Clippers, in Houston, <laughs> and he feeding it so he can move Aaron Rodgers. If Aaron Rodgers go to another team, Skip, he can still do State Farm commercials. Okay, but Aaron for sure has earned it, and Chris in his own way. Yeah. I'm, I mean, he just has stature. He doesn't he, have any rings. He doesn't but, have any rings, but, you know, he's been he's been uh, many times the best point guard in the NBA. He has. He's a nine-time assist champ, right. you know. And, and he's, Top 75 player all time. And he's the president of the Players Association, yeah. so he's highly regarded. Yes. Baker yes. Mayfield is not the president of the NFL PA, right? <laughs> no, okay. he is not. No. Baker certainly has a lot of catching up to do if he wants to get to the level of either CP3 or Aaron Rodgers. Yes. All right, Skip, we got to talk about your Cowboys coming up. Mm-mm. Can Zeke return to his Pro Bowl form? Yep. Yeah. The guys yeah. debate yeah, that Kenny. one yep. coming up next. <laughs>